My son was 12 when he started using, and of course, just like every parent, we just thought he was experimenting, cigarettes and, you know, pot. Um, and then at 13, we got a phone call from our school that he had showed up with a backpack full of pills. He was in seventh grade. And so, as you can imagine, that just rocked our world. Like many parents dealing with addiction, Pam Lanhard had difficulty finding help when her son began using opioids eight years ago before the epidemic hit and before the stigma surrounding it began to subside, though she says it still exists. I was told straight out by different people that it was a parenting problem. And I still see that occasionally on social media. Where, where are the parents? You know, why? Well, if you just parent correctly, your kids wouldn't turn out this way. So there's still a stigma. It's what led her to start her own support network called Thrive, a nonprofit program providing hope, help, and healing for families dealing with substance abuse. They provide support groups, advocacy, and community education focusing on the root causes of addiction, and they encourage loving well rather than tough love. Andrea Lemon, whose son suffers from addiction and mental health issues, began her journey five years ago, often feeling isolated and judged. I see people that are struggling with family members that are dealing with cancer, um, other health issues and the, the community comes around them and rallies for them. They're taking over hot dishes, they're taking over brownies to just support them. And when it comes to substance abuse, it's almost a shunning that happens. And I have, I have lived this really alone in my community and that's, that's been difficult. After researching social media sites, she liked what Pam was promoting, giving positive feedback during her most difficult days. I've reached out to her and she had shared that there were ongoing supports throughout the Twin Cities, family support groups, but nothing up in the Northeast Metro. So I reached out to her and I just said, have you ever considered uh, starting a support group up in the Northeast Metro in the White Bear Lake area? And she said, I was just thinking about that. The two met and connected through their mutual experiences and Andrea helped facilitate the White Bear Lake chapter. They began holding weekly meetings last October. The group has continued to grow, reminding members they're not alone in their experience. And Pam is quick to remind the public addiction can happen to any family. And my husband and I have been married for 36 years. We took our kids to church. We ate family dinners together five nights a week. We took our kids camping and did family vacations together. Our kids were involved in church and in sports. And so we really thought that we would be able to prevent um, addiction, knowing that there was a genetic component to it. We thought we could prevent that from hitting our family.